Hi folks, today's tutorial is on how to set a sign plate or a sign bar. Today we're going to talk about a 5 inch sign plate. Typically uh, in the states here, in the English system, we use either 5 inch or 10 inch. In this case we have a 5 inch sign plate. This one happens to be a compound which means that it hinges in two directions but the concept will be the same whether you have a single angle or a compound. First we're going to talk about a single angle. How do we set a single angle sign plate? Well, we have to determine first of all what it is that the, the angle is that we're going to be setting the sign plate to. And in the today's example, we're going to be setting it to uh, the first one will be 20 degrees and 5 minutes. How do we find 20 degrees and 5 minutes? Well, there's two ways to do it. One way is to do it on our website, which is subtool.com. Go to the help menu and go into how to set a sign plate or sign bar, and it'll walk you right through it. The other way is to look at our book of contents, which we have here, which we'll be glad to send you should you request one. Uh, and we're going to look at the five inch sign plate, which is this section right in here. There's also a three inch, and there's also metrics in the back, 100 and 125 millimeter, should you choose to uh, uh, be dealing with metrics. So in this case, 20 degrees in five minutes, I've done the math already to save us a little bit of time. It happens to be, as I looked it up in the book, we're going to need gauge blocks to the amount of 1.7169. So I've already pulled the blocks again to save a little bit of time. And in this case, it's always a good idea to do your math. Let me tell you a little bit about gauge blocks for those of you that don't really understand it. It's always best to start at the top. And by that are the largest decimal over to the right. So in this case, the, the, the decimal to the far right happens to be the 9 tenths, and then it's 16, and then it's 600, and then 9, uh, 0 .9, uh, 9 hundredths, of which also gives us now our combination of our total, which is 17169. So pulling the blocks, again, start with the tenth block. I always like to use my four wrist right here for cleansing. It seems to have the right amount of oil. It allows them to stick together better. It's just good hygiene, which is required when you're using close tolerances like we are here today. So now that we have our gauge block set up, and again, recommending that you keep everything nice and sanitary, we're going to loosen up the uh, sign plate on the locking strap which is right here on the side. The locking strap is designed so it does not protrude above the work surface which is important because some people don't, some of our competitors, particularly the imports, don't have that feature and at some point the locking strap sticks up above and you can accidentally set your workpiece on there which will cause you a problem. So again, here's where we're going to set the gauge block. I always like to wipe things down before I do anything. Setting it gently down on the gauge block. And now we have it set up for the required angle, which is 20 degrees and five minutes. That's all there is to it. Now, let's assume that we wanted to set up a compound angle. While we're at it, we might as well do that as well. My second angle that I selected happens to be 15 degrees in five minutes. And again, I've already looked it up in our book of constants, and it tells us that we're going to need one inch, 301, and one tenth. And again, starting with a decimal to the farthest right, We've got the one tenth block, the 101, the 100, and the one inch, which again gives us one inch, 301, and one tenth. So for that, I've done the same thing. I've selected the one tenth block, which is my first one. Again, using good hygiene, wiping the gauge block down. And the next one, which was the 101. And lastly, the 100 block now connects to the one inch block. And you'll notice how they ring together, as we call it, 
without any difficulty because they're not magnetic, they're just that accurate, they're so flat that they stick together. <clears throat> so now we're going to lift this side up and we're going to wipe it down a little bit, slide it in, wipe the gauge block down as well, and the gauge roll, snug up the locking strap, and you're ready to go. The only thing you need to be sure about in a compound sign plate, when you're dealing with two angles, you have to make sure that you have the angle set in the proper rotation. You, you could accidentally set the top one for the wrong angle, and when you set your workpiece on there, it could be the opposite. So you've got an angle going one direction, another one going the other. You just need to make sure that they're set up uh, in the proper orientation. Now this ends our tutorial on how to, how to set a sign plate. And again, this is both single angle and compound, same concept. We hope this is helpful. Any questions, give us a ring or check us on our website. Thanks for watching.